Fujifilm have been known for creating some of our favorite still-centric cameras over the years, but more recently they've taken a big dive into the video market. With the release of the X-H2 and X-H2S last year, they've finally given Fujifilm users a professional video setup. Now their latest release, the X-S20, is also another step into the video market, forming more of a vlogger content creation camera. So we're going to head out to the forest, meet up with landscape photographer John Karen, grab some content and see if this is any good. The XS20 is built around Fujifilm's fourth generation 26 megapixel backside illuminated sensor, the same one we saw in the XT4 and the XS10. But the XS20 is now being powered by their fifth generation processor, leading to much higher performance. On the video side of things, you've got a wide range of recording options. I won't go through all of them, but we're going to be topping out at 6K 30 frames per second, which is recording in 10 bit color and we know is fantastic when paired with F-Log2. And although this is definitely a video-centric camera, the still's performance still packs a punch with a wide range of high-speed continuous shooting options, 19 of Fujifilm's known and loved film looks and of course the fan favorite Fujifilm color science. Now in terms of the ergonomics of this camera, it's a nice small lightweight body but with a deep enough grip that it sits nicely in the hand. You've got your micro HDMI port, a USB-C port and this very useful little mic input with the cover. On the other side you've got your headphone jack, on the back you've got your fully articulating LCD screen and a perfectly usable electronic viewfinder. Now in terms of how this camera actually handles out in the field, I'm really impressed. I had moments where I didn't want to focus on the camera settings, just wanted to capture the moment, so I threw it in auto mode and it gave me exactly what I was looking for. But I also then had moments where I wanted to take a little bit of a deep dive into the settings, uh, control my shutter speed, my aperture, my ISO, and the image quality when you dig into it, grading F-Log in 10-bit, I was really, really impressed with the quality of the image coming out of this camera. Another feature on the video side that really impressed me were the seven stops of in-body image stabilization. I shot everything handheld or with a little Bluetooth grip and most of the shots looked like they were done on a gimbal. Really smooth, really buttery footage from this IBIS. Another area where Fujifilm have come on in leaps and bounds is their autofocus performance and the XS20 is no exception to that. They've introduced this deep learning AI technology, which take that however you will, but it now gives you the ability to track people, animals, birds, planes, trains, and anything else you can think of. And in the short amount of time I got to spend with it, the autofocus performance was fantastic. It locked onto target, it stuck with it, uh, no complaints there. It, it just got out of the way and worked perfectly. Now because of who this camera is targeted towards, Fujifilm have included a vlog specific mode which is accessible here through the mode dial. And what this does is gives you a very simply laid out on-screen menu to access your primary camera settings or to engage your product priority mode or background defocus mode. Now the background defocus mode is something we've seen from other brands 
Um, it basically just manipulates your camera settings, drops your f-stop to you know, give you that shallow depth of field. But what I'm really impressed with is the product priority mode here. Just on how accurate it is, even if the product's way towards the edge of the frame and the face is in the center, it'll still lock onto that product. So although we have seen the product showcase feature in some of the other brands, I think Fujifilm have done it really, really well with the XS20. I'm not going to talk too much about the stills performance because we've seen the sensor from the X-T4 and we know what image quality to expect. But what we did also have from Fuji was the newly released 8mm 3.5. So I'll talk to that a little bit. And as you can see, some of the shots we got with the XS20 and with the 8mm came out really nicely. The lens is sharp from edge to edge, gives you a lot of detail, the contrast, the color rendition. It's exactly what we would come to expect from Fujifilm Prime Glass. The only downside for me, I would love to have seen an f2.8 and would probably make the 8mm an incredible astro lens, but as it stands for landscapes, 8mm, fantastic option. So in all, I think Fuji have created a wonderful little camera here in the XS20. I think it's going to be a wonderful travel companion for people who are maybe already on the Fujifilm system and are looking for a very small lightweight body to carry around for stills or video. And I think in the price point, this is offering some really good professional features in a small compact body. So if you're looking for your next best travel friend, really do consider the XS20.